Uh, but anyways, so we're streaming it all in relative chronological order. Um, I have a few commands for what order we're streaming it in. So I think if you do exclamation point Metroid, it'll show you the order I'm streaming them in. So we're starting Metro Prime 1, 2, 3, then we're doing Metroid Zero Mission, Metroid 2, uh, another Metroid 2 remake. Then we're doing Super Metroid, Metroid Fusion, and Metroid Dread. Um, and at any point, you can also do exclamation point chronology, if I spell it right. And it'll show uh, the order that all of the games are in, um, just for your convenience. But I have a little thing right here to show off. Um, so this is what the Metroid timeline is. Timeline is basically it starts at the top left, uh, the manga, which basically explains the uh, backstory. In a nutshell, basically what it is is uh, Samus Saran um, was born on a planet K two L, and when and at some point while she's growing up, uh, the space pirates charge the primary antagonists of the uh, series um, attack K2L um, and uh, one of the main antagonists which we'll meet uh, very early on in Metroid Prime is uh, Ridley. Um, he killed Samus Aran's parents. And so after that, a powerful, te a technologically powerful uh, alien race uh, called the Chozo um, adopted Samus Aran, uh, gave her some Chozo DNA uh, blood and uh, kind of raised her up. Uh, she became a powerful warrior. Um, and then by the events of Metroid slash Metroid Zero Mission, which is the first uh, game chronologically, as you can see, um, she's sent to planet Zebes to uh, destroy the space pirate base. So that's like kind of the backstory. So after Metroid Zero Mission, we have the Metroid Prime. Uh, we're not going to be playing Metroid Prime Hunters um, just because it's a DS game. It's a uh, fairly old graphic wise. Um, but the Metroid Prime trilogy is basically an offshoot. It's still very canon and very has a lot of important lore uh, to the game, but it's not uh, directly related to the... It's not important to the timeline events of the four mainline ones uh, that we have now, which is in this one. So here, let me move my thing. So the, the mainline uh, games leading up to Metroid Dread are Metroid uh, NES, which is also remade in Metroid Zero Mission, which is what we're going to play. Um, and then it's Metroid 2 uh, Return of Samus. It's also remade in Metroid uh, Samus Returns. We're going to be playing a fan remake of that one. Um, and then there's Super Metroid, uh, which is Metroid 3. Um, and after that is Metroid Fusion. In between Super Metroid and Metroid Fusion, uh, you can see in this other one that we do have uh, Metroid Other M, but we won't be playing it. Um, it basically helps to explain uh, some of the events of Metroid Fusion, but it's all, it's like oftentimes considered like one of the weakest uh, points in the series. But then, so after Super Metroid um, is Metroid Fusion, which introduces a uh, fairly a new protagonist to the series, um, but this is the last the currently Metroid Fusion is the latest game chronologically in the entire series uh, that you can play um, It's further along than Metroid Prime 4 presumably uh, which hasn't been released yet um, Any of the offshoots as well and then Metro Metroid Dread I don't know if we know exactly when it will take place after Metroid Fusion, but it will it should be taking place very shortly after uh, Metroid Fusion chrono chrono chronologically wise. Yeah, it has been 19 years, 2002. So you will notice uh, that we are playing Metroid Prime before we play Metroid Zero Mission. And so I wanted to explain why. So when I was kid, like maybe around 10 years old, nine, 10 years old, I played Super Smash Brothers. We got an N64 for Christmas. It was great and we got super smash brothers and we played it uh and there was this character in it called samus and if you play as samus and then get hit, get hit by an electrical attack uh her power suit like flashes on and off for a little bit and you can see that samus is a, a woman and at, especially at the time it was very like shocking to be like oh i thought the character from metroid was a robot or a boy uh no it turns out samus is one of the earliest uh you know, woman protagonist in uh, gaming that, you know, we've had, uh, which is also why I'm wearing my Chun-Li shirt. I don't have a Metroid shirt on me, but I am wearing my Chun-Li shirt um, because she is also one of the uh, earlier protagonists in gaming. Strongest woman in the world, Street Fighter. Love her.
Didn't they accidentally make Samus a lesbian? I do not know, but go off. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, uh, so the reason why is uh, I knew, I figured out, I was like, oh, Samus is a really cool character in Super Smash Brothers. I was like, game's up one day and I saw this game called Metroid Prime. I'm like, oh shit, I recognize the Samus girl. Um, I saw Metroid Prime and this is probably like 2003, 2004. Um, so I'm like, I think 10 at this age, I have a GameCube. I'm like, I'll go ahead and play it. Um, and end up being one of my favorite series ever. So for the, uh, with the, with the order that we're playing this, we're starting with Metroid Prime, which is one of my favorites. And then Metroid Fusion, which is also one of my favorites. Um, but just like playing it, I ended up playing through pretty much all of the series. There are a few offshoots I haven't played, like Metroid Prime Federation Force, Metroid Prime uh, Pinball. Um, I played through Hunters a long time ago, um, at least the demo. Um, it's been a while. I haven't played through uh, Metroid Other M. But turns out, one of my favorite series. And so now, in honor and celebration of Metroid Dread, we are going to play through the series in mostly chronological chronological order. Also, some more background: um, the all of the Metroid Prime games are the three D first person adventure. They're like technically first person shooters, but they play more like adventure games. Um, and then the mainline Metroid games that you see here, uh, these are all two D games. So that's like the main thing that separates them. The main events of the two D games, which is like the main mainline ones that dread will follow um are all 2d games and they all mainly deal with metroids the metroid prime trilogy uh primarily focuses around something we'll find later on which is uh phase on uh spoiler alert uh so kind of to recap the order we're gonna play in is metroid prime metroid prime 2 echoes metroid prime 3 corruption then we're going to play metroid zero mission um metroid 2 um which is the fan remake another metroid 2 remake uh, Super Metroid and then Metroid Fusion and then hopefully we can play it at a pace where we finish Metroid Fusion like right around the time that Metroid Dread releases because I really want that to line up I don't know how well it will I think we're starting early enough that we can figure out what our pace will be to do that and then after that I will stream uh, Metroid Fusion or yeah Metroid Dread 